Welcome back, guys. We are ready to put this all together now, okay? So, I have, uh, I figured out that m more than likely I was supposed to make this shorter one here and have a taller, you know, and so I would have taller on here because they wanted the chests, but, you know, you get what you get. So if you if you would prefer, use one of the shorter, which I believe was the piece I put here, was shorter. So this shelf can be up a little bit if you want to put the chests on your dresser. Okay? So what I've done is, um, and I'll show you in a second what I did with my handy dandy little stylist here. Uh, I have the Heartfelt Creations Deluxe Flower Shaping Kit. Whoa! And I tell you, I, I do have found uses for it other than making flowers. <laughs> and this is one of them. Um, so I just have some double-sided sticky tape. And I'm taking the... putting one over on top of the other and I want it to be offset to the top and to the side ever so slightly just to give the impression of you know that it's deeper than it is and then I'm going to also put a piece on the back let's take the backing off and then I'm going to set this I think I'll put another piece because I want it to be set out more so let's build this up a little bit. We might even do another piece because those are not shallow shelves. Yeah, one more piece, guys. So that is three pieces of the, I think this is 3M or Scotch, which I think is the same thing. Uh, okay, so three deep plus the one in between the two pieces so it's four deep and let's see if it gets lost in there and actually I think I'm gonna take another piece but I'm gonna cut it in half and I'm just gonna put it on my left side so I can have this at a little bit of an angle, but I'm going to put it against the wall a little bit. Okay. Now the shelves are not glued down in any way, shape, or form, so it is kind of hard to make them look like they're, you know, sitting on the shelf. Just do the best you can. Um, had... Had I really realized what all I was going to do with this when I first started, I would have figured out ways of actually attaching these guys because they're shorter than the box is. And, you know, just like the, the dresser is shorter than the box is. Still a really cute project. Super cute project. And these books came out really nice. Really nice. And super easy, no so. You saw that earlier in the video. So that's that one. Now this one that I did the... This is the one where I made all of my own pages. And it did make it much smaller. So I have quite a gap between the edge of the... <laughs> but when it, you know, when it's opened up, it fills out the side. Which, that's what you'll see. So that's cool. Um, this one, the glue should be dry. This one, I did the accordion style page, 
and it does get it much fluffier and it fills out the book. So that would be my suggestion for how you would put those two books together. And um, now I have the little apothecary jars. Let's just kind of V this at the top. And I'm going to put this on the one, a little long. Let me shorten this up and V it again. All right, of course I'm sending, sending this everywhere. <laughs> Wah! Okay, so I want this one. And then take the backing off and put this one on top. Yeah, there we go. That looks good. And then I think just one layer Well, let's actually cut this in half, put that together, one side off, and then the other side off. I'm going to put this in between the two books, and the books I'm not going to stick in place. I thought about it, and I thought, no, those are, you know, a lot of work, and so interesting, and let's see. Oh, I guess I really needed to put my photo in there. Uh, oh, you know what? I had decided, because I did that, that's right, oh, darn. Oh, darn. It really did stick. I should be able to cover that up, but... Come on. Shoot. Okay, well that's where I'll put the frame. Um, that I was going to go ahead and glue this one down. I know it's a it's a, a very large section, but it's the only section that I would have that I could... And then I could move one of the books down here and fill that space up and then put something up here that would be interesting. So that's what I'm going to do to make this work for what I want. And of course, you know, you guys can always make these your very own little goodies. Okay, so how I did my frame. I cut a frame out. I cut the gal out. And then I cut the top of the frame off. Now, I got the third piece from this page. And I just took off a little bit of the brightness with, uh, like, ground espresso or something. Then I made myself a square that is smaller than the original. And I just cut a little V out of it. Can you see that? I just cut that little V out. And that is what the picture is going to stick on. And I've been standing it up all day. And the first time I tried to stand it up for video, it falls down. <laughs> ah! I've been moving that thing everywhere. And it's just been staying up. And then all of a sudden, ba-bam. Okay, so the first one thing I want to do is go ahead and glue down. I don't need it right there. Glue. Woo! Okay, so let's glue this down and put the bottom edge right along the bottom edge. So glue her down. Make sure you're not gluing down your, you know, that you didn't get any glue. I still did. No, no, that's the stuff I wiped off. Okay, so there is the lady. 
Then I built the frame up with, I think we did this together, and I'm just going to take all these little backings off. This stuff, I don't know how old it is. I think I got it at a garage sale, but it's it's still working great. It's still quite quite sticky. I have come across some that aren't, but, you know, all you got to do is just add some glue. You're still getting the foam thickness that you need, so just add glue and glue it on. Don't throw it away. Don't throw it away. And if you ever can't get one of these, if you take your fingernail and push in, it pops the edges out. Now you you want to push in close to one of the edges, but not on the edge. You want to allow that paper to pop up. Okay. Now, again, I'm going to put my frame right at the edge. But make sure I cover the picture up. And now I glossy accented the frame. I put my colored waxes on the frame. And then I glossy accented over it. And then this piece is not glossy accented. And I'm just going to glue it down. Now, because I didn't ink anything else, I did not ink the sides of this. But uh, normally, normally I probably would have. Uh, but again, this was... This was a little more involved since I did it on copy paper than I was planning on <laughs> spending on this. So there's the frame. I thought the contrast with the top being matte and decorative would be nice on it. And, and I, I do like that. Okay, so there's my frame. Um, what I did to these with this ball is I looked at them and the one that maybe had the thicker amount on it. Now these are both pretty much even. I don't see where I, I got a little bit of a thicker spot or anything. So I'm just going to take one of them and gently against the rubber mat. And you can do this with a large, a smaller stylist. You just gently and I'm getting a little bit of a curve, but I'm not really working that curve too much. And you do hear, I don't know if you heard it, but you do hear the little cracking. Now, usually the one with the least amount of cracking is the one that I'm putting on the top. Like so far, this is only cracked like once. And so, the, oh, there went a couple times. And there was a couple more. Um, so that's the one that I'll put on the top. Okay, so now we need to go back to a larger piece of this. Put it down on the one you're going to have on the underneath. And then take this one. And you want it to be slightly lower so that you can see the top and slightly to either the left or the right so that you so it gives it some depth and dimension that's what we're after okay so there can you see that these are beautiful chests i love them love them in fact for the chest for the um beneath the sea thing i might you know, kind of follow that because it is a pretty chest. All right, so now I'm going to build up and I think I used three on the other one. I can go ahead and put this back. Uh, let's put that right here. No, that needs to have, let's see, can I move this? Nope. Ha! It's on there. So I'm going to put this. I can't put it there. It just, just barely fits in here. I'm going to snug it down in there. And I'm going to put the book over here. There we go. And now I'm going to put the frame on this side because I need to cover where I ripped a little bit. 
Um, now what I'm going to do is I've got the frame to sit on this piece, but I do want to build it up so it's actually supported. So I'm going to build up this area. Okay, so we're going to go one. And then we're going to go second one. And let's see. Oh, here's the third one. And then I'm going to see, before I take the backing off, if I want another one on there or not. Okay, yeah, I do. So I'm going to put a half of one. Okay, honey. Sorry, my husband walked in just for a second. <laughs> He's so cute. He whispered so you couldn't hear him. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Tell you, if they would have told me... I mean, he's been a terrific husband and father our, you know, our entire marriage. We've been... This, this March will be 40 years for us. Okay. So, yeah, I do want this to... There. Oops, no, that is a bit crooked. Okay. So there we go. And it's looking dimensional. Now, this piece here has a front and a back to it, but I'm, I don't... I don't see... Um, it, it's... In order to cut it you need to just get them and put them together and then cut it out. Um, so that would be my suggestion is if you want to utilize front and back of this, that you cut it as close as you can, glue it together so that you know the pattern is all the same. You know, like actually cut the tip of the spoon out and cut the cup out. And then if you're lining both of those up, the rest of it should line up and then cut it out. <clears throat> and you're really only going to use one side of it anyway, so, um, you know. So all I'm going to do here is build it up. And then I've got the other bottles. Okay, so let's build this up half by half. And let's see, is that going to be, okay, push in the center and they come right out. I need to use my own suggestions. Okay, is that going to be good? Well, let's get that a little bit more out there. So I'm going to put another one. And I think I'm even going to put one more. There we go. Okay. So this is going to go on my top shelf. Out like that. So there we go. We're getting there. Then I have the big bottle. This one cracked much worse than this one. So... Let's just put one V in there. And again, I'm just going to place it down so I'm getting a little bit of what I would think would make it look like it's a little more dimensional. Okay, and 
this one is going to go right here. And I don't think I'm going to build this up quite as much. Let's just do, I think the two of these will work. Okay, so let's put that bottle right there because I am putting my book here and then I have one more bottle and this one I liked best and this one is the back so I'm not going to use it and I'm just going to see I think this will fit in here. Ooh, no it won't. So you know what? Um, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. I think that's what I'm going to just leave it as, just like that. That's really, oh no, I do have the other, I got another chest. Where'd I put it? Okay, you guys are laughing at me right now, I think. Where's my other chest? Did I stick this on it? No. What'd I do with my other chest, people? I got a book. I got a chest. I got that. Did I drop it? No. Oh, and my husband today told me that uh, I look like I've been losing weight. Ah! <laughs> Isn't that always wonderful to hear? I just was like, well, thank you, because I have been losing some weight and trying. So, uh, wow. All right, well, you guys saw how I was doing the one, and that's how I'm going to do the other one. And, um, I mean, I, uh, I don't know. I, I did this with it. I was showing you. Oh, well. Okay. Yes, now my girlfriend will be asking me every time she and I talk, did you find that chest yet? She had a lot of fun with something like, oh, I think I had lost this. And I couldn't find it, couldn't find it, couldn't find it. And she just kept asking me, did you find that yet? And I said, don't, you just be quiet, girl. <laughs> she had bought me birthday present or Christmas present, I can't remember. And she was down to the wire trying to find where she had put those so she could wrap them up and give them to me for my birthday. <laughs> it was funny. Okay, so this was the miniature memo. Um, and the one is smaller than the other. So what I decided to do was accordion fold them. Um, and all I'm going to do is put some glue... I think it'd probably be easier just to put it right on this line here. Right up that center line. And I did have to maneuver the folds a little bit so that... Oh yeah, I don't... I didn't need it all the way. Alright, so that is right in the center. I don't want to get it up on the sides too much. Okay, because I don't want to glue it down. Alright, so I think we're okay. I'm going to leave that for a few minutes to let it dry. I want to put on... I'm still looking for my trunks. I don't know what I did with them. That's just funny. Okay, and then I just thought this little piece here would look cute on this some somewhere so it did uh, yeah I did glossy accent this as well because like I said it was all um, just copy paper so you can do it I'm showing you you can do it out of copy paper so we're gonna glue that part and this art glitter glue, 
seems to do fine um, working on, there we go, uh, the art glitter glue seems to do fine working on the uh, glossy accents, um, you know, if you wanted to glue a glossy accents piece down or something. I just don't know what I did with the trunk. But anyway, I'll do one more trunk when I find it, and it'll go right in there. Okay, so um, on this notebook, it should be dry enough for me to do this. I'm going to go ahead, pull that back off. I just want you to stick in the center. So we have, I think I'm going to just take off a sliver of each one of these sides. Just a sliver, like a sixteenth of an inch, and on this side. Oh, like why all of a sudden am I having problems cutting through copy paper? Okay, and then this will go on this side. And then this will fold this way, and this will fold this way. Okay. I took a bit of just, this is just that packaging paper. Okay. And I glued, I think there's three layers of the packaging paper. And it is five-eighths of an inch wide. I'm just kind of finding my center and... going to give it a bit of a fold. I am going to go ahead and tack the front and the back page. Oh, well I don't need that on there. Those things went flying everywhere, didn't I? I'll probably find my trunk stuck to one. Okay, so this is what I said I did. I played around with the folding a little bit. I made these two outer ones longer so that they would cover this inner one, okay? And so it left a white layer on both sides. So we are just going to give it a little, you know, what do you call this thing? <laughs> spine. There we go. So we're just going to give this a little spine. And this is going to be a birthday card for the gal that comes over once in a while and and uh, helps me with my Etsy stuff and special projects. She says she has a lot of fun, so yeah. Alright, so we're just going to... Give it a little burnish. And then we have both of these to go into the pocket. Aren't those cute? Did the, uh, no, I don't, I do have, I have no clue. Hmm, I'll find it. Ah! But anyway, guys, I am done with this project. I hope you enjoyed seeing it being uh, unfolding in front of your little eyes. And um, if nothing else, these are just cute little books to have for sure. All right, guys. And then I think, oh, oh, there it is. And you're going to mess up my back page, aren't you? Ah, uh, there you had to go and do it, didn't you? Oh, poo. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay. And I'm going to build this up with this little runaway piece. And we'll put it right in here. Oh, you you are just out of line. Did I get it far enough down? Yeah, here we go. 
finito isn't it adorable and then I'm just gonna tie uh, this is actually very pretty right here wrap it a couple times around I will cut this down because it does not need to be this long but how pretty is that for a little birthday gift or something, huh, guys? All right. Free little project. Just print it out on cardstock. <laughs> Till next time, guys. Thanks so much for watching. See ya.